stocks up as the pace of job losses slows down. The president saying his stimulus plan is to thank. Is it? Welcome, everybody. I am Brian Sullivan in once again for Neil Cavuto, and welcome to your world. We're still not creating jobs, but we're not losing as many as we thought that we would, and that is giving hope that maybe, maybe, the job market is hitting bottom. The president saying, thank his stimulus plan. Because of this plan, cops are still on the beat, and teachers are still in the classroom. Shovels are breaking ground, and cranes dot the sky. And new life has been breathed into private companies. Now, keep in mind, only about 33 million of the 787 billion in the stimulus plan has been spent so far on so-called shovel-ready projects. This is the reason why radio talk show host Mike Slater says stimulus likely has nothing to do with it. Mike, welcome to the program. Uh, you think, hey, jobs starting to see a little bit of a recovery. It's not stimulus. It's just the overall economy turning around. Yeah, let's hold off a second before we slap on the mission accomplished banner on this stimulus package and give it credit for all the good things that will ever, forever happen. We're talking a $787 billion package. That's the same as the GDP of the country of Australia. That's how giant this thing is. And we've spent out of this whole package this much. This is, I'm, what was it, 30, 30 billion? I'm pretty sure Donald Trump had lunch yesterday and his lunch bill was a little more than that already. So to give that out of the entire United States economy, that amount of money, uh, to, to give it credit to stimulate the economy, give me a break, it's nonsense. But a big part of the economy, you have to admit, is psychology. Opponents would say, to your position, they'd say, hey, this helps psychology and thus helps future hiring. No. What helps future hiring is freedom and people knowing that they can keep their own money and stimulate the economy themselves. Let's talk reality, not, not the, uh, the psychology of it. You talk to your local officials, and as I've talked to ours, they don't even know how they're going to get the money, let alone how to spend it. They don't even know if it comes in the mail. Is it a grant, a check, a, like a happy Gilmore check? They don't know how they're even going to get it, let alone how they're going to spend it. So the psychology of it doesn't even matter if we don't even know where the money's coming from at this point yet. I know a little bit because I tracked into Ohio and a bunch of counties are building kind of the same school bus garage. I called the county commissioner, one of the guys, he didn't want to go on the record, obviously, and he said, well, we were told if we build garages and, Ohio and build bus, buy buses, we'll get paid back 100%. I said, do you need it? He was like, eh. He said, we got to rush it through because we only have 180 days to get it under contract. So maybe what we'll have is a bunch of buildings we don't need being rushed through just to spend the money. Let me tell you what we saw in West Tennessee. We have a Congressman, John Tanner, who's a blue dog Democrat, who's supposed to be against this uh, irresponsible deficit spending without any oversight. But he's touting the tens of thousands of jobs that he's created or saved, which doesn't even mean anything in and of itself. But we've asked our listeners every morning to call in as soon as they see something being built with stimulus money. Uh, We've lowered the bar. I don't even care what it is. It doesn't have to be a school or a road. It could be a, like a fence post. I don't even care what it is. We have nothing being built with this money yet. And I think my aunt, wasn't Miami supposed to get like a water park? We, 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 we're not getting water parks. We don't see anything bu being built in West Tennessee. But what we do see is manufacturing jobs leaving and getting out of business. That's because less people have money to spend how they want to spend it. And instead, we have just the federal government continuing to confiscate money from us, and then they're the good guys. And the problem with this okay. is, no matter what comes out of this, the American economy will rebound. We still have the entrepreneurial spirit of the American people, and it's the strongest economy in the world. So it will rebound. The problem is, yep. no matter what happens, all of the good of it will be attributed to Barack Obama, 100%. Your kid could hit a home run in T-ball, and Barack Obama gets credit. So in the very near future, and 70 years from now, People are going to look back right now and say, yes, this is what happened. This, this uh, well, capitalism Mike, with a nice dose uh, of socialism, a little economic fascism, I, I, and some Keynesian I know you economics, might not like it. that's what was the cure. I, I know you might not like it, but for it's smart politics. <laughs> Just, <laughs> that may be the case. Mike we got to go. That, Thank you very much. We did call the Brian, White House. We asked them for a comment. They didn't make one. We asked them to send somebody on the show. They didn't make anybody available. We'll keep calling.